that what we are working here is on balance on you controlling your body in the water through the, all the turns right you're not just falling into a stroke yeah. you're controlling your body well, let's go with bobs Let's start okay. with that. I don't want you to touch the bottom, of course. Yeah, so, I am not. Okay, good. It's so, already deep. Right? Yeah. Let's do it. Ten bumps. Very good. Mm -hmm. So here you go. And we are going that way. Right, flutter kick right now. And let's go, so right away, let's go with 20 breaths. So we are working on your ease. And by the way, your legs are really bendy. Right, especially when you're on your side. So I'll look through the video. So really we need to work through well, from your hips, like really work on getting those hips yes. tight. I mean, um, your legs straight. However, we do need to add a little bit of a whiplash to your flutter kick, right? I mean, it's all you do right now is whiplash, right? But we need a little bit of that, okay. right? So we're doing a... a flutter kick. 20 breaths, right? Finding the ease. This Where is... Uh, yeah, that way. Uh, we can go toward that, toward the boathouse. Or actually, no, let's just go for that. Person is? Huh? Where that person is? Um, the tower. Okay. See the tower? Yep. Uh, the uh, phone tower, I guess. Yep, let's go. Did you count? Okay, so you did actually more than 20. But you stopped when I counted 20 when I started late. Okie dokie, very good. It's not like for you to do the same thing but on your back. And you can hold, <clears throat> you can do it with the kickboard. On the back? Yes. So, you lie down on your back like this. Could you please hold this? Awesome, thank you. Oh, you found a way to do it. Awesome. Okay, so you lie down on your back first. So you, you'll, the kickboard is going to be here, right? So you right away take the kickboard this way in your hand. You lie down on your back, float, and then you take a deep breath in and bring your like, hands together, right? And then before you start kicking, remember, we don't want to get your knees out. So when you're starting to kick, Try to bring your legs back a little bit so you won't float away, right? I am. I? Yes, you okay. are. Okay, so okay. bring it up just bring a little bit. bit. Mm -hmm. Good. So in order for your knees not to come up before you start, just bring your hips down just a little bit and then start kicking. Okay. Right, just to control it a little bit more, just to make sure that your toes do stay at the surface. So first, wait, 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 wait. So first, bring your kickboard in your hands, two hands up, 
how is it going to be in your hands? No, that's not how it's supposed to be, right? Like so the way you would be lying down. So if you're here on your back and the kickboard is going to be here, so that's, you know, okay. here, this is it, right? Yeah, so yeah. first hold it with two hands and then, yes, and then separate it and then you lie down. <clears throat> Separate it. That's it. Put, put it. Put it. No. Uh, 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 uh. Stop. 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 Good. Hold it this way. I, Bring I your arms out. Bring. Uh, of course, you were doing filmmaking. Hold on one second. You concentrated on filmmaking. That's why you didn't pay attention. <laughs> Plus I good. could see. Okay. All right. You're getting good at it. Yeah. At this thing. I have to. <laughs> Very good. Alrighty. So. You lie flat with your arms out first. Okay. And then connect your hands in the back. So you just put it on the side, one side, right? Yes, just take it, hold it first, just to see where your hand is supposed to be on the kickboard. Hold, hold the kickboard in front of you, but check it side toward you. Lift it, that's it. And now separate your hands, separate, bring your arms out to the sides out to the sides on the water that's it lie down that's it and now connect your arms above your head take a deep breath in okay well you didn't have to bring your head down right <laughs> underneath but when you brought your head underwater your face underwater you could have blown bubbles right all right so make your arms straight uh -huh, you want to try it again no I'm good. Mm -hmm. yes water got some. i know so every single time water gets close to your nose, you got to breathe out. And this is something that you definitely need to learn. Okay. And yeah. when your arms are over your head, you got to straighten them. Like your elbows have to be straight completely. Good. Now bring your arms back without letting your face underwater. No. Uh huh. Now, right in the water, put the kickboard on, on the water, on the water. That's it, you got it. Very nice. Now, elbows completely straight. Lock them. Good. Bring your hips down just a little bit. Hips down just a little bit. Sit. That's it. And now, uh, straight legs though, straight legs. Sit. Straight legs, sit. <laughs> straight legs and bring your hips down just a little bit. Uh huh. Good. And start kicking with your toes coming up. Go. So, straight legs, please. Knees are straight. That's it. Bring your toes up a little bit. Sit down with your hips. Sit down with your hips. That's it. Much better. Much better. Elbows straight, please. That's it. You got it. Okay, I'm going to start splashing you. That's it. Hips down a little bit, toes up. Mm hmm How was it? Good. Okay. All right. So you do need to remember that position. I want you to get into that angle position, right? Into an angle position. And then from here, straighten up little by little. So you would feel that angle, right? And remember to bring your... Um, to bring your hips down a little bit easier, you got to bring your head up a little bit more. Just a tiny bit. So just rest on my uh, head more? Is that what you said? No, if you need to bring your hips down a little bit, if you need to sit, right? So if you need to sit, then need to be you got to lift your head a little okay. bit, right? Because yeah. every single time when your head is up, your body is down, right? So, but now, but you will have to bring your toes up a little bit, but bring your hips down. Yeah. And with that, your head will help. Okay. Same thing? Yes, let's try it. So, right now, we're concentrating on you feeling uh, the control of your body. Let's do it again. <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay. 
So in order for you not to bring your head on, uh, for your face not to come down underwater, <coughs> you gotta get your shoulder blades back much more. <coughs> Because if your shoulder blades are not together, it means that your arms are above water and your back is underwater much more. Right? But if your shoulder blades are back, your arms are back and your head is and your, and your chest are much higher. Very nice, but you had to bring your hands in the water, but that was nice. Okay, good. Bring your hips down just a little bit. Just sit a little bit. Lift your head a little bit, right? And sit. Sit more. Sit. Just for you to feel. Yes, that's good. And now start kicking. Straight legs. Point your toes. Well, actually kick to... to uh, To propel. Kick to propel. Good. Very nice. Elbows straight. Elbows straight. Mhm. Mm Very good. How did it feel? It was better. What about positioning? What was better? What was better? Tell me, please. Uh, I think I was focusing on my butt being down. Uh huh. Bit. And I think that helps. Uh, what else helps? What helped you do it? What? Which muscles do you do cont uh, contract? How were you able to keep your butt under and control the position and your toes up? Uh, what did you concentrate on contracting? I think I use my abs more. Yes. Yeah. Very nice. You also hip flexors are working there too. Did you feel control of your head? Did you actually con concentrate on that a little bit or I no? I concentrated on my arms more. Okay, so what shoulders. did you what did you do with your arms? I stressed them like all the way. Okay. Okay, awesome. So let's try it again and let's see if you could actually, uh, if you could uh, repeat it without me telling you anything. Straight leg, straight leg. Mm hmm Okay. It was awesome. The only thing is that your knees came up just a tiny bit high. It means that basically your legs worked uh, too much range of motion, right? In here, you're able to feel it a little bit more on your back than on your stomach because you don't have to <laughs> think about holding your breath and being out of breath right, right, just because your face is out of water you don't have that fear factor you know already do you feel like um, trying it again sure okay so right now I really want you to do uh, to feel that body position of course uh, feeling your abs and uh, um, feeling trying to make your moves more shallow by adding a little bit more of, of your hips okay and when you bring your arms over your head please keep your hands in the water okay okay Actually, let's do this. Um, you're going to do 10 breaths on your back. 
not 10, 20 breaths on your back. You'll turn around, right away do 20 breaths on your stomach. Turn around, 20 breaths on your back. Turn around, 20 breaths on your stomach, right? What I want you to feel is that how, do you feel the difference in your kick when you and your feeling of your abs and your core when you are doing flutter kick on your stomach after you do the back? Okay. Okay, so let's do it on your back first. <clears throat> so you're doing four sets. Nice, much better. It's fine to just get up and then and then lie down on your stomach. All right, let's go right away. Mm -hmm. Knees together from your hips, please, from your hips. Get your butt to the surface, please. Get your butt to the surface more. What happened? Got tired. Okay. So remember, we are seeing your flutter kick on your stomach as bobs. So we need to find your uh, for your your um, ease. So what happened here? Your abs are not working right now as much as they should. Right. So after you're doing it and you after you're swimming on your back, your abs are working really hard. I need you to transfer that into here. Right. Work those abs really hard. And you are working from your hip, uh, from your knees, knees more, and your yeah. knees when are. When I get tired. And your knees are out, right? Yeah. So remember that when you do it correctly, it's much easier. When you go back to your previous um, kick, it, it gets much harder. So let's try it. Twenty. Uh, by the way, we are working on your endurance right now too. <laughs> so that's why you actually have to push yourself through that tiredness. And do try to count your breaths. Okay. I'm gonna do flatter now, right? Yeah, let's do it. Yes, butt is up. That's good. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <clears throat> ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. <laughs> 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Stand up and lie down on your back right away. Remember, here you don't lose your breath. So lie down and you'll be able to breathe normally. Abs and glutes, abs and glutes.
Close your mouth. Elbow straight, elbow straight. Fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, close your mouth, sixteen, seventeen, elbow straight, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Stand up, stand up, good, and right away into flutter kick, nice and easy, that's your bobs, right? Let's do it, let's find ease, go. Butt up a little bit more. Butt up a little bit more. Yeah. Uh-huh. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Find your ease. Find your ease. Uh-huh. Good. A little bit lighter. A little bit lighter on your legs. Lighter. A little bit lighter. Shallow, shallow kick. Don't stop. Don't stop. Shallow kick. Beautiful. That's it. That's it. Good. Good, feet more together. Not bad, you found it, right? Did you? Did it get a little bit easier at the end? I put my head down more. I know, to bring your butt up, very nice. And also at the end when I asked you to do more uh, shallow kicks, yeah. you did that I and did. got a little bit easier, right? Yes. So you do have to make sure that you keep your knees closer together. Okay. Don't separate them too far. Alrighty, well you gotta lie down on your back again. And then on your stomach. Nice. Feet closer together, knees closer together, elbows straight, point your toes. That's it, and go. <coughs> Good, and back to your stomach one more time. Ten, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, feet closer together, sixteen, feet closer together, seventeen, feet closer together on your knees, eighteen, nineteen, beautiful, twenty, very good, okay. You could do bobs right now, I'll take that. Thank you. Nice and easy. One. Beautiful. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. 
Alrighty. Okay, so did you feel any difference? Okay, forget about it. Um, one of the things I'd like for you to pay attention to right now, and you're going to do flutter kick on your stomach. So remember how you told me that when you brought, <clears throat> when you brought your head down, your legs and your butt went up, right? Okay, so I want you to do that right now, and I want you to notice if you put the difference between putting your head all the way down and just tucking in your chin. Okay. Right? Because the correct way is to just tuck your chin in instead of putting your head all the way under. Remember? Because if your head is all the way under, it means that it's actually breaking you. It's stopping you. Right. Right? So that's why it's just your chin and part of... Uh, so it's just your chin and part of your head is still um, out of the water. Okay. Let's do it. So now this is your time to play around and just to feel it out, not okay. to work really hard. <clears throat> By the way, stop right there. Now you can, because you're not really working, now you can hold your breath a little bit longer and just to feel it in one breath, feel the difference between head down and chin down. Okay. The, and uh, chin tucked in. Okay. So deep breath. Don't. Yes. And I just chin tucked in. Mm -hmm. Yep. What was the difference? Did you feel the difference? I gotta do it a couple of times. Uh huh. Good. So try to actually do both in one breath. Okay. Just to feel the difference. I think for me, I felt more pressure on my nose when I was all the way up for some reason. All the way up, all the way down? All the way, I mean, when my head was down. All the way down. Not so you seat. mean, it means that uh, you mean the water went in your nose, up no, your no, nose? Right. Or what is it? more pressure, like, oh, uh, you know? Interesting, okay. And so what was more comfortable? Uh, with the chin, I guess. Okay, so your chin tucked in. The only thing is that when you do tuck in your chin, I'd like for you to concentrate a little bit more on getting your shoulder blades back. Okay. Right? So right now, just do the chin tucked in. Because when you do the chin tucked in, you kind of do this. Right? When your head is all the way down, you you bring down your whole back. The, the, right? Yeah, that's the thing. I wasn't bringing the, my whole head too. Like, you know, you have to bring the... Like, it's just more work. Yeah, of course. Yeah, your down, muscles. Down. Yes, good. So, yeah, exactly. So your head works. Uh, there's much more um, air to cover when you're moving your head that much, yes. right? Okay, that's very nice point. Um, so now, when you do bring, so when you bring in, take in your chin only. This is what happens, right? You actually bring your shoulders more up uh, forward, right? So I do want you to do that, but still keep your forward. shoulders back, right? Okay. Engage right. your upper back engaged. Let's do it. So now, let's do a little bit of breath holding, just for you to feel it. So you're doing only 10 breaths instead of 20. Okay. Okay, stop right there. Did you do head down or tuck ten your chin? Can I remember later on to tuck it more? But I was a little loose before. Yeah, so it means that you actually did, your head was kind of low. Yeah. You could, say so basically you could keep it right here in the middle. Okay. You were back here. Right, 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 right. Okay.
Okay, so the head is still a little bit low, but it's okay. Okay, all right. So you see when you're concentrating on your head, you kind of forget about everything else and that's actually everything else is kind of doing exactly almost everything that it's supposed to do, which is quite awesome. Yeah, I, I did the... Uh, <clears throat> I did it softer this time. Okay, did you concentrate on it? Oh, really? Very nice. So, bit. so keeping it, that in mind, I'd like for you to do it on your side. It was less effort. Yes. For sure. Very good. Yeah. So let's keep that in mind. Yeah. As you do your. Um, yes. And keep my neck tucked. Yeah, and now uh, let's go the other way already. Yeah, see when you're doing that neck t uh, chin tuck T and uh, you will be looking down just a tiny bit, right? Yes. Right, so you, you will be looking down. Uh, if your neck, if your chin is not tucked in, you'll be, or you're going to look forward. So we do want a little bit down. You probably have to come on this side, right? Yeah, no. Am I doing that left? Uh, yeah, you're going to do, yeah, you're starting from that side. Um, it means that you'll have to go that way yeah. one more time, yes. Because I need you to be on the sunny side. So Yes, okay. let's do it. Right you on. could just go towards, I guess, toward that um, boathouse. Okay. This is your good side, right? Yeah, this is my good side. Yes, good. Let's do it. Why am I going back? Are you going back? No, I'm staying in place. <laughs> You, when you keep your legs in front of your body, when you tread water, you float back. Okay, already. So remind me what exactly you need to concentrate on right now. Please. Uh, keeping my <clears throat> neck tucked in. Chin uh, tucked extending. in. My front, uh -huh. keeping my left arm like that, mm -hmm. uh, and just paddle. Knee straight, uh, knee softly. straight. Yes, knee, knee straight, straight. Right, very important. Uh, on this side, your knees actually were much better. On the other side, woo, they went bad. They were bent. Um, another thing, you got to put your head down, right? Your ear on your shoulder. Yeah. Okay, so let's do it. Finding the ease, mm. making it easy. Head down just a little bit more. Top of your head down more. Head down, head down, head down. Shoulder back a little bit, top shoulder back. Head down. Head down a little bit more. Okay, actually put your top of your head down, right? So your face is halfway out of the water like this. Yeah. Right? Once again, if you put the top of your head down, it's going to be much easier. Okay. But I was going all the way around? What do you mean around? Direction-wise? Um, you made like a, a little bit over 45 degree angle. Or maybe Why a 45. Huh? Because of my shoulder? Well, because, um, actually, believe it or not, well, first of all, because your legs were in front a little bit. Um, because you, maybe you did a little bit more of that angle with your, um, uh, whatever you do on, when you swim on your back, which is actually not too bad. It means that uh, your abs were more contracted, which is nice. And also it means that your head, your, your top arm was kind of back, which is also not a bad thing right now. So right now it's fine. Okay. Okay, I'm let's going do it. That way, and I'm going that way. Well, you started that way and then you turned that way. Head down, right top of your head down. Nice, beautiful.
Okay, how was that? Good, I like the direction. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. What was different this time around? We'll do the other side now on the way back. Uh, I think just uh, keeping my... Uh, right, could you let me get you closer? Head. Yes? I was just keeping my head. I was focusing on my head. <clears throat> okay. And my front arm. And uh, trying to... Uh, just softly move my legs rather than like forcing them which uh -huh. I usually do and I got tired uh -huh. so I'm just trying to like glide to water rather than like pushing myself okay and you looked awesome and I saw that you readjusted yourself a couple of times your head and because of that you were floating very nice so let's do the other side so facing me again and we are going back to the cars So you're finding that ease. Try to find that ease with your legs too and head down. Okay, how was that? As we talk, let's keep walking. Let's keep uh, moving that way. Uh huh. So, how was that? How did it feel? Well, <clears throat> I was just trying to focus if I'm going in the right direction. Uh huh. Okay, so your head was more or less down. Um, you were more on your back, which is fine right now. If you were able to actually hold you yourself like those for almost 45 degrees back which is once again fine um, your knee came out of the water it means that you still worked a little bit too much from your knee yes okay so let's find it you're facing me again so let's find that ease let's find the movement from your hips and try not to balance yourself with that right hand. Balance yourself with the muscles. Head down, head down, readjust it, very good. Turn toward me a little bit more. <laughs> okay, not bad. And by the way, every time you close your eyes, this is gonna happen. You will lose your direction. Okay. Okay, like your, your body in space. Um, okay, how did that feel? What was, diff the, what was different? Okay, what was different? I'm trying to focus my to use my hips more mm -hmm. and by the way I saw it it made your your whole body was kind of do, doing this movement which means that you actually did work uh, on your hips uh, with your hips a little bit more the thing is that as you learn to control your body the movement is going to be from your hips but the rest of your body will stop moving it just that's your core work and everything else but right now that what showed me that you actually did try that's to work I from your hips too, yes it's just a lot more effort if I use my legs. Mm -hmm. So hips were like I was trying to use my weight. Mm -hmm. Like hip weight. Yes, too. exactly. Yes. So, Very good. Yeah. Okay, which is on the side is not really that much of a weight because you are going side to side instead of down up. I mean, just my power, I guess, because I have like small, uh, I have stronger glutes. So. 
uh, yes, yes, and your thighs are actually very strong too. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. Okay, so last time we did that arm thing um, only on your right side. Yeah with your left arm so today we'll do both arms so okay. let's start on that side and, uh, I don't care about the Sun right now so we're going back to the cars okay let's do you remember what we're doing right uh, I don't remember exactly like one like four times like I don't remember the four times whenever I have to take a breath I can do that right uh, no so you start on the side do you want me to show it to you again sure Swim to me. I can just show you to you and then, you know. No, you just now, you already showed it to me wrong. What do I do? You already showed it to me wrong. You gotta swim to me though. Okay. So I don't want you to do it wrong. Okay? Good. So if you could point this thing at me, it would be awesome. Alrighty. Good. So you're starting doing about four strokes. I have to swim over you now. <laughs> it's fine. Just just stay where you are. Just point the camera. Good. So you're starting here on the side. You're bringing your arm up toward the sea, uh, toward the skies. Palm is back. And when your arm gets to about 90 degrees, you turn your face and bring your hand all the way to the kickboard. And come back here so you're swimming here for a little bit on your stomach then you pull the water and bring yourself back to the same position you gotta stay get here and actually get into that balanced position on the side so do a minimum uh, four strokes on your side and try to do about four strokes on your stomach okay, okay? of course palm back arm is all the way up and nice and straight right now Let's do it. And then doing it in this arm? Yes, this is your good side. Stronger side. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Alrighty, so you actually readjusted yourself. <sighs> you actually readjusted yourself. You, um, at first you brought your arm a little bit in the front of your body and then little by little you brought it up. The last one you also brought it forward, but it's only because you did not bring your shoulder back. That's the trick. You gotta keep your shoulder back and your arm will be in the right place, okay. right? Let's do it. And by the way, if you keep your shoulder if you keep your shoulders in place, you will be much less prone to injuries, shoulder injuries. True. Okay, Akram, Akram, okay. So, you're kind of almost getting too laxed in this, right? You're turning to do your, uh, you're trying to do your own thing right now, which is turning for down a little bit too soon. Okay. Okay, and you're actually, you brought your, you didn't bring your arm up all the way, uh, even once. Okay. You just did this. It means that you did not wait until 90 degrees to turn. All right. What right 
Uh, that, let's just concentrate that's on that right now. That's the, the main thing, right? Uh, we need to go to the uh, uh, skies. Uh, the thing is that what we are working here is on balance, on you controlling your body in the water through the, all the turns, right? You're not just falling into a stroke. Yeah. You're controlling your body. And that's the concentration right now. Okay. Let's Sounds do it. Good. Okay, stop right there, stop right there, stop right there, stop, stop. Okie dokie. My arm was correct only one time. Yeah, very good. Now what's awesome is that you're keeping your palm back. That's really nice. Did you actually work on it? Yeah. In the pool? A uh, little bit, yes. Okay, very good. I could see that. Okay, so how did it feel that one correct time? Let me try to do it again. But how did it feel that time? How is it that you know that that one time was because correct? I was just too fast. I didn't stop. Like I, didn't, I mean, I didn't, I didn't go all the way I could tell. Okay. All right. But did it feel good when you did it correctly? I need to do it a more times. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, and by the way, you're turning this way. So it means that you got to keep that uh, right arm. No, no. I'm saying uh, you are turning again. Okay, I'm You're not to... swimming in a straight line. It means that you got to bring that right arm behind your back, behind your head a little bit more. Okay. So more back. Nice. All right, that's enough. That's enough for now on this side. How did it feel? You tell me. I don't know. Well, you tell me how it felt. It I actually swam. was. It was awesome. It was good. Did it feel good? Yeah. Did you? Did it feel comfortable? It felt comfortable. All right. So that's the feeling you want to get from swimming. Easy, comfortable. Yeah. Now, when you start swimming far and fast, now that's a whole different thing, right? That's a whole. You know, that's sport. Actual, what we are doing right now, we are finding your ease. And that's the feeling I want you to get when you swim. Let's do the other side. Okay. So remember, on this side, you have to concentrate a little bit more on your kick. Right? And then now we got to find that balance on this side too. Let's do it. Okay, stop right there. Okay, in terms of arm position, it was awesome. Now, because you turned back a little bit too much, your arm went back, but right now, I don't even worry about it, right? Now, what's not so good is your head. It was too much out of the water, and it makes it much more difficult for you. 
right and it means that you looked forward a little bit too much but right? you're supposed to let's do the side you're supposed to go to the side and turn down straight straight down right yeah. right and you kind of went this way remember remember the more if your head is out of the water it's much more difficult for you let's do it top of your head down right Very good, that's enough. Okay, how was that? It's better. Good. More controlled. Very good. So now, we go in the same direction. You are doing four on one side and then four on the other side. Oh. So remember, same thing. Your hands, both hands get to the kickboard and then just the other hand. On the, fourth, on the fifth one, the other hand is moving back. That's it. You're turning the other way. Side to the side right away. Head down, head down. That's enough, that's enough. Only four on each side. Okay, let's turn this way. So you see, arm position, four strokes, and you turned 45, uh, 90 degrees actually. Right? So when you're on your right side, lie down on your right side, your arm is in front. It should be in the back more. Right? So we're going all the way there, all the way to the end. And try to do as many fours. Uh, you know what? Let's do three. Three each side and try to repeat it at least four times each. Without looking forward, you got to look to the side right away, right? Okay. No looking forward at all in freestyle, unless you're actually siding. Head down, head down, head down. Good, and switch. Gotta switch, no looking down. You got, no, no, no. 
do the other side do your right uh, do, do it once on your right side and then I want you to put your hand on the kickboard and turn onto the the other side right away alternate what alternate one, one, one and one I want you to actually switch from side to side without looking at me so, okay let me understand so one and one on each side I want you to do one on one side and then switch to the other side okay, without yeah. looking at me All right. okay got it Let's do it. Be careful, there are rocks here already, so you might want to go toward, toward my family. If you see me, <laughs> Akram, Akram, no, 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 right now, no, we are not just brushing through it. I actually want you to get to the side, getting here and getting to the side and actually swimming on your side. That, that straight arm position is key for your glide. And if you do not get it now, it's going to be very difficult to go back and learn it. So that's why let's, we're learning the positions of freestyle right now okay your arm position when you did it without switching was awesome right if you for some reason kept looking at me when switching i don't know why but whatever we'll work on it right um uh, when you started switching from side to side you started brushing could you please not swim backwards <laughs> swim toward me please at least stay in place Good, so you could always, when you're doing that, you could always do that instead of that, right? This. Okay. So, that, good. Um, so, uh, so you brushed through those, those positions and did not even get to them. And because of that, you lost your balance, you lost your breath, you lost it all. Right? So that's why those positions are key. You have to get to those positions. Right? All right. How did it feel all together? Good. You looked awesome. Thank you. That was awesome. Okay. So what are your feelings about today's um, session? I think it was second day we went in deep water. Like all the way, almost like in the center. Yes. It was comfortable in that regard uh, we learned how to swim on the back uh, the paddling was much better today paddling was much more kicking ki the kicking was kicking was com like it, it was I, I think I'm finding that uh, ease to do it rather than you know just losing all my energy uh huh do this more so, uh huh that was that was something I learned today. That was good. Uh, freestyle, I think. Uh, I was better than last time. You can tell me better. <laughs> no, much better. Your balance was much better. You last time we didn't even uh, do the other side. We just did one side, yeah. and you were able to balance on both sides today, which was quite awesome. Yeah. Right. It's just now it's like. You're trying to brush through and actually swim freestyle without <laughs> holding anywhere, right? But this is not, you know, th even when you're doing it fast, you're still holding just much uh, uh, shorter period of time. Right. So that's why we have to learn to get those points, get into those positions. Yeah. Great job today. Alrighty, let's do it. So let's swim that way instead of using the rocks. I was kind of like do that one more time. <laughs> okay. On the side. Okay. That's fine. You don't need to record it. Just I want to. Okay. 
Akram, Akram. So one of the things that you're not doing right now is you're not tucking your chin in. Yes. And that's why you're looking at me when you're switching. You can see me when you're switching your arms. Okay. Right, if you tuck your chin in, you will be looking back, not forward. You'll be looking back and down instead of forward and down. By the way, arm position was awesome. Huh? Arm position was awesome. Okay, good. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Okay, so let's do it last time and that's it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, so that shows you that we actually have to work on uh, on surface dive. Huh? The fact that you cannot reach that deep in the water, it means that we need to work on surface dives. I can. Can you show me? I did that. <laughs> 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 Oh, nice. It's a little bit different in the suit if you don't have the technique. <laughs> it's very... I'm using my hands to go down. Okay, so if you do decide to go beyond five sessions, we'll learn the surface dive too. <laughs> Okay, well, it's something to work Party on. With the suit. Huh? Party of with course the suit. it is. It's holding him up. That's it. But there is still a technique to do it yeah, that's going to make is. it easier. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you see, we learned uh, to keep you up on the surface. <laughs> now we Too actually much. have, Too well, much. now we have to teach you how to uh, get Dive. underwater. Nice, awesome, <laughs> very good. At least got it. Yeah. Somehow. Alrighty, awesome job today. Good. Thank you.